My name is Suzanne Leblanc. I'm Vice President with the Hydro and Power System Division of SNC-Lavalin, an engineering construction company based in uh, Montreal, Canada. Definitely now hydro projects have to be uh, done in some type of uh, collaboration or uh, partnering with the various stakeholders. So in order to do have the winning team, we need to have a, a great network of uh, companies and uh, partners we can team with. And a venue like the Hydro 2009 is definitely a good one for that. SNC-Lavalin as a whole is, uh, uh, is active in various industries and energy is one of them. We've been uh, working in the hydropower for almost 100 years. So we do have a lot of projects under our belt, but we certainly ex expect to continue on for a long time again. And we have ongoing projects in various uh, countries, and our clients are namely um, utilities, but also private producers, or sometimes other industrials that meet or wish to have a bit more independence in terms of electricity production, so they do produce their own electricity, like uh, mining companies, for example, that do have uh, hydropower plants for their own purposes. Indeed, we do. We, uh, we can start all the way from the investigation and to actually identify potential hydropower. And we can uh, do feasibility studies, detailed engineering, uh, we can do construction. And sometimes we even uh, work as consultants for lending agencies to make sure that their money is put into good use. Today, uh, the biggest challenge for hydropower projects is to uh, make partners aware and acknowledge that they do have a role to play in risk management. Everybody knows there are risks, but nobody wants to get involved. And the best project, in my view, will be the one where people with the means to actually mitigate risk will get involved. So, uh, the owner will have to take some risks, the constructor will have to take some, the engineer, everybody has to share in the risks and actually take on the aspects on which they can be active and contribute into avoiding those risks. Well, uh, if really we cannot come to agreement, there will be no project for us for sure. But in in many cases, the best way is to have a, a risk matrix early on in a project and to monitor it and assign the uh, various actions in order to mitigate those risks, but also to have a very strong uh, tool for project management and to make sure we monitor all the deliverables, the actions for, from various parties, and to have access because, as I said before, projects now are done in partnering, in partnership, and there are many stakeholders, so we need to share the info, we need to know uh, at any given moment where the project stands, so everybody understands what they have to do at any given time. So we do use uh, for our projects uh, management tools that allow us to have access to a common uh, database, because often we have partners in various countries, so we need to have a common language, and this tool becomes a common language. So we have the uh, schedule online for everybody to, to consult, and we have the documents, we have the same for the manufacturers. We can, uh, we can today exchange a lot of documents via electronic mail, so it becomes easier to share the information. I would say hydropower is on the verge of a rebirth, maybe, and uh, as soon as some money becomes available, this is now the biggest challenge we face. Everybody understands the value of hydropower, everybody understands that it is green, it is renewable, and it's totally, um, at, at, it's not at the, at the uh, mercy of the price of oil or gas, it's, uh, the fuel is free, or just about. It's a gift from God, so we have to use it for good, uh, to good means, and uh, people understand that. It's just a matter of uh, getting the right parties committed to a project, because the only, I would say, negative point of a hydropower is time. It takes a long time to build. 
it takes a long time to study. It takes a long time to make sure we understand all the environmental aspects of a project, but it's a great project. So as soon as people realize that and money becomes available, there should be a lot of hydropower being built.